The Goat House is back with the only power rankings that matter, ranking every NFL team in Week 12 from 32 to 1 based on how they are currently playing. Let's take a look at where the team's placed this week. The Raiders are going to remain at 32 as they are on a massive losing streak. The Jags also deserving of being 32. They moved down four spots to 31 after getting the snot pounded out of them to the Detroit Lions. Number 30, the Giants are actually going to move up a spot while on the bye, even though they're on a big losing streak. It's just the Jags definitely needed to be in the bottom two. 29, the Panthers are going to stay put. They're putting together some wins. They are fresh off the bye. Let's see if they can upset the Chiefs now. 28, Titans are going to stay put. They put up a fight with the Vikings. They got just ripped with penalties in that game. Otherwise, it may, maybe they could have pulled off an upset. They're going to stay put at 28. 27, the Browns go down a spot after a disappointing outing against the Saints. Cowboys moving down three spots. This is, you know, the reality of the Cowboys now. Not not healthy, don't have Dak out there. Not that he was playing that great or they were winning before that. But, yeah, they don't really have much of a chance right now. So they're going to continue to move down. Bears almost were moving up because they had the Packers. They're going to end up staying put, though. And the same kind of goes for the Patriots who beat the Bears a week ago. And the Patriots put up a fight with the Rams. Going to stay put. The Jets moving down two spots. They're still kind of holding on to that recent Texans win. Put up a fight with the Colts. Had them, but they let it slip away. Right at the end there. Number 22 is going to be the Saints moving up a whopping eight spots. They beat a solid team last week in the Falcons. And now they beat the Browns. Not many were expecting them to win that game. They win in a, in a big fashion. You know, big, big margin of victory on that one. So they're going to go up eight spots. And they are alive in the NFC South. They're at 22. 21, the Bucks. Yeah, they're on a bye. They kind of just were unlucky in the position of these power rankings with a few teams, three teams, they need to move up ahead of them. So that kind of pushed them down three spots, 21. They might get a little healthier now. NFC South is kind of up for grabs. So let's see if they can get going. The Colts are going to go up two spots, an impressive victory against the Jets. It did take, you know, a last second effort there, but it was impressed with Anthony Richardson and their offense in this game. They're up two spots to 20. Number 19, the Falcons, very, very disappointing. Lost to the Saints last week, and now they lose to the Broncos, and they got crushed to the Broncos. Nothing going for them. I talked about it in the in the recap videos that I, it's, the Falcons are they're a talented team that is tough to trust because we don't trust the defense for sure because – the run defense, the pass defense, not so great. And they're supposed to be an offensive team with all the weapons they have. But at any time, the offense can kind of just shut down or not execute in the red zone. So tough team to trust, even though I think that they could be very solid. They're down five spots, 219 to 49ers. Weird seeing them down here. They're down six spots to 18. They can't stay consistent. They just do not look anything near like the 49ers that we're used to or the 49ers that we expect. Very sloppy. Again, inconsistent. They can move the ball. They're not finishing drives. Defense, one second looks like a great Niners defense. Maybe great's a little strong, but then one second, not that good, right? And the special teams is brutal. They're down six spots to eight. Six spots to 18. That is uh, wild, but they, they just can't get anything consistent going here. Uh, 17, the Seahawks who beat the Niners. It wasn't the most impressive game. It looked like a battle between two bad teams, kind of, even though I do think they're better than bad. But Seahawks, again, the, the defense is coming together a little bit. The offense can be an explosive offense at any time. So if they fully put it together, they could be very, very sneaky. They're up three spots to 17, a big game against the Cardinals this week. Really looking forward to that one there. Uh, stay tuned for our weekly pick show for week 12, Tuesday night. See who we pick for all these games. Cannot wait for that. 16, the Bengals are going to go down a spot. The record isn't good, 4-7, and seven, but we know that they are a better team than that. That that battle between the Bengals and the Chargers, I've, watching that game, I felt like it was a battle between two really solid teams, two playoff teams. They just can't find a way to finish it. it it's, it's tough. I mean, you know, it partly do that they have star players, but you need more than just star players, you know, to be able to win these big time games. But they're down a spot to 16. It still feels like a solid team in around this range, you know, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Like these are teams that we feel are pretty good, but they can't really can stay consistent with closing out games. So it seems a common theme for that stretch of teams right there. 15, the Rams go up a spot. Interesting game against the Patriots. It felt like they had control, even though, yeah, again, it was a little interesting at times. I thought the Patriots had a shot, but they're going to win, and they're going to go up a spot to 15. Dolphins are going to go up five spots. They're starting to put some things together. 
Since Tua came back, they had the Cardinals let it slip away. They had the Bills let it slip away. They beat a good, hot Rams team, and now they shellac the Raiders. They're getting some things going. They're very close to being on a four-game winning streak with Tua, but they're not. But it's a two-game winning streak, and they look like a much better team every single week. So they are up five spots to 14. 13, the Broncos. They, they're, they've been very impressive. You know, a, a pleasant surprise. The defense has been great, and now... The offense is getting going. Bo Nix is getting going, which makes the players around him getting going. So they're becoming more and more of a balanced team, which is scary because there's not too many legit balanced teams in football right now. So they're going to go up four spots. The Broncos into the top 13. No one really expected that them to be there by week 12, looking at, looking at it before the year started. So uh, pretty, pretty impressed with Bo Nix and the Broncos right now. Uh, number 12 is going to be the Commanders. They are on a two-game losing streak after having a hot season, and it's still a very good season. But looking at the second half of the Steelers game and on you know, through the Eagles game, the offense is kind of getting figured out. There was a game plan in the second half from the Steelers. The Eagles kind of used that as well. So the offense can't really do much. Jaden Daniels hasn't really done much in that stretch there. Could it be a, a game plan is out for a Cliff Kingsbury offense, which shouldn't be much of a surprise? Or is it who they've been playing? I mean, the Steelers and the Eagles might be the best defenses in football, so it's a little bit of a question, but they're on a stretch of not playing the best football right now, even though the defense, you could say, is getting better, but the run defense was brutal at the end of the Eagles game. So um, still a little bit of a question if there's more of a game plan out there for them, but it won't really be a question this week as they play a beat-up, struggling Cowboys team. So I'm not really worried about them this week. They are down three spots to number 12. The Texans are going to stay put. They got a little cold, but then picked it up against the Cowboys this week, uh, which should be a free win, but both sides of the ball looked pretty explosive. They had their sloppy moments at times, but they're going to stay put at number 11. The Red Hot Cardinals are coming off a bye. No reason to move them around here. Uh, very, very curious about the game this week. Number 10 versus number 17, the Cardinals at the Seahawks, and that game could go either way. Uh, the Cardinals are hot. The Seahawks upset the Niners in San Fran, and Got something going late in that game. They're getting some defense going. That's gonna be. I think that's gonna be a really one of the tougher ones to pick this week. Even though the Cardinals are super hot right now, so really looking forward to that. Let's we'll see if the Cardinals can continue to roll and stay or climb inside that top ten. Packers won this week. They end up moving down. I think a team just being a little more impressive had to go ahead of them. With the Packers, wasn't really super impressed with them uh, in that game. They're gonna go home to play San Francisco this week, 9 versus 18. That's going to be a ball game, one of the better ball games of the week. Can't wait to see who we pick in our weekly pick show tonight, Tuesday night. But uh, Packers are a different animal at home. I still think, you know, a big reason I picked the Packers to win the Super Bowl this year, which is my confidence is dropping a little bit on that. But the, remember, the reason I picked them is they were a team of the future of this season. Like, they get going later in the playoffs. Matt LaFleur is one of the best game planning in the playoffs so I still think they can kind of go get better later in the year does it start now with the Niners it's a possibility so it's a big test for them it's a big learning experience for me what the Packers are about you know coming this week I think a must win uh, for them so they gotta they gotta look a little more impressive to kind of stay up in the top eight and continue to move up Chargers move up a whopping five spots number eight the Chargers been winning they've been looking impressive the defense has been impressive since week one the offense is starting to pick it up but they have one of the weaker resumes of the winning teams this year then they go play the Bengals and people might not be that impressed because the Bengals record I'm impressed I know the Bengals are better than their record I know that was a true challenge something that cha Chargers have not seen that offense nothing near that offense this year and when I watched that game I just felt like I was watching two playoff teams two really good teams and the Chargers pulled it off actually looked dominant at times so very much impressed this is easily a top eight team right now they're up five spots to number eight number seven the Ravens are going down three spots a disappointing outing against the Steelers yeah it was close but Steelers completely outplayed them Ravens were sloppy they're down three spots Ravens are weird because one week they look like I mean there was a stretch where it's like this might be the best team in football and then but you're also saying that the defense is going to hold them back. This is not the Ravens defense. In the last couple of weeks the defense stepping up maybe a little bit and the offense a little disappointing until the fourth quarter of the Bengals game I guess. But um, and, and when Derrick Henry goes crazy they win. When he doesn't they lose. So. They really need that run game on, it seems. So it's a team that needs specifics. They need things to go right. So that it's an explosive and explosive team that I would not want, to, I want my team to deal with. 
but they, they again they need things to be going perfectly right it feels like which is not a good look when we're looking ahead to playoffs here so they're down three spots almost had the Chargers hop them as well but it was a little bit too much of a drop because the Ravens did play a really good team in the Steelers and it was close despite the sloppiness but guess what Monday night football one of the games of the year the Harbaugh round two Ravens versus Chargers I cannot wait. One of the tougher games to pick. I mean, I, I cannot wait for that. I can't wait to see who we pick tonight because that's one of the tougher ones this week. And Chargers defense has been awesome, but you wonder, can they stop that run, that Ravens-style run game? They haven't been tested that way, but Chargers offense is heating up, and the Ravens defense hasn't been the best. So is that a bad matchup for them? That's, that's going to be a ball game. I think it's going to be another entertaining one like that Bengals Chargers game. So I cannot wait. The winner is obviously going to move up. The loser will, you know, move down obviously. So we'll see uh, the Vikings up a spot to number six. They uh, get by the Titans. The defense for the Vikings is looking really, really good. I want to see them tested against like a good quarterback. We've seen them dominate younger, inexperienced quarterbacks, including good ones like CJ Stroud, Brock Purdy. We've seen them really struggle with Jared Goff and Matt Stafford. So, uh, I want to see a little bit more of a test, but it's it's week 12. It, we're through 11 weeks, and the defense looks legit. Obviously, they'll take on the Bears this week, which could be a little bit of a trap game because the Bears have a whole new offense, so there's really no game plan. It's how the Bears were able to move the ball this past week. But uh, see how the Vikings offense doing it does in that game. But, yeah, it, they still don't feel as good as they were the first four weeks, but they're 8-2. They continue to win. They're up a spot to number Six. Number five, the Steelers, very impressive this year. They, they beat the Ravens, so they're going to go up a spot. You know, these teams, some of these teams in the top five, I wish I could move them up more than just a spot, but there's they're all with each other up there, so a lot of them are going to go up a spot. Steelers look like they have the best defense in football. Not really a surprise, I suppose. Offense, yeah, perfect world. Finish drive, score touchdowns, but they can move the ball. This feels a little different in the past few years, Steelers teams that were good teams, that were better than expected, that made the playoffs when no one expected. It feels better than those, so could they be more than that? It looks like it right now. Um, so that uh, they play the Browns Thursday night. The line is the line saying that maybe that's a trap game. It shouldn't be. They should handle business on that one. Eagles go up a spot. Another one like the Steelers, like it feels like the – man, you could argue that these are like number one teams, but it's hard to put all these teams there, right? The Eagles look like they have – the best defense with, with the Steelers right there, which is crazy. Night and day difference at the end of last year, and now that defense is insane. That second, that young secondary is crazy. The young interior defensive line, crazy. The linebackers have gotten so much better over the you know since you know last year, the year before. Offense, yeah, I wish they didn't wait to the last second to get going, but we know what this offense is capable of, especially on the ground. This team looks legit. They look like it. They're a team that can get back to going to the Super Bowl here. They're up a spot to number four. Number three, the Chiefs no longer undefeated. It's their first loss, so how much can we actually move them down? I think two was kind of the maximum there. You know, they're still one of the the the, the heavyweights of football. They play well on both sides of the ball, but not in this game. The Bills completely outplayed them in this game. Um, you know, I think Mahomes is very much capable of playing a lot better. The defense has kind of slid down a little bit since most of the season, uh, but they're going to go down two spots to number three with the Eagles, Steelers kind of threatening to move ahead of them, but the Chiefs will play the Panthers this week. So I think we expect them to we expect them to handle business. In the top two, the Bills who beat the Chiefs go up to number two, up a spot. Everybody's moving up a spot in, around here. And the Lions back to number one, taking that spot as the heavyweights of the NFL right there with the Bills. I mean, I think those two teams are the clear one and two, even though Chiefs were undefeated for that line. The Eagles and the Steelers are, are really pushing up there. They feel like number one teams. But, yeah, the Bills beating the Chiefs, I mean, you could argue they could be number one because how good they have been. Uh, but the Lions, I mean, just been absolutely dominant. Their only loss was early in the year against the Buccaneers. I'm not even sure how they lost that game. Uh, they probably didn't run the ball enough. But they're they're playing really good football right now. I know, I know they played the Jags, but they went out there and won 52-6. to six. You know, there, there's... It felt like a college football beat-up game, and there's not too many teams that are able to do that against any other team in the NFL. So this this team can throw on you, they can run on you. They have one, they probably have the best offense line in football. They're playing much better defense now. Tough that Anzalone went out uh, on top of already missing Hutchinson. Uh, went down, I should say, and now he's going to be out. So that's pretty tough. But a lot of young players on that team are playing better and better. It seems to be a common theme every single year. Young guys develop rapidly and make the team better. So... They look like the they feel they look like the best team in football, so really no surprise 
there. They play the Colts, who play teams tough. They could be sneaky, but that's a pretty tough matchup for the Colts, just looking at the, how the run game is on both sides of the ball uh, for both those teams. But, um, yeah, again, I've said it a million times, but our weekly pick, pick show every Tuesday night, you guys probably know that, most of you guys watching. So join us for that. We have loads of NFL content every single week, so like, subscribe to Notifications On. I cannot wait for Week 12 as we start teams start to click into gear for that playoff run. Things are really, really going to start heating up. We always add bonus videos to the rotation here. So had a mock draft last week coaching candidates last week we're going to keep adding more you know rookie rankings who looks like steals playoff predictions things like that our early look at free agency things like that will pop up so make sure to turn those notifications on that's going to do it for this one thanks everyone for watching goodbye